What's up, gang? I'm at the arena again today. And first up, I'm gonna be working on this crisis zone here. It keeps rebooting. And so I think the voltage is low. I know I've messed with the connector in the back that goes to the computer. And if I push it in real good, it will, uh, it'll start up. See, it started there. I thought it did. What do we got going on here? But we definitely need to check it test the voltages on it I think we're gonna find the problem there uh, next I have afterburner over here I'm not gonna be able to fix this one today like many of the other ones we have it needs a battery well <laughs> it needs a battery on the motherboard uh, I stole it out to fix one of the other games while it was dead and now that I have it ready to work uh, I need a battery so it's getting no signal to the monitor which uh, Obviously, no battery in PC. It doesn't know what settings, what, uh, you know, resolution and stuff for the monitor to be on. So I'm done with that for now. I did work on the, uh, the crane kit over here today. It, I got it where it's working. Uh, I'll show a little clip of that here in just a second. Whenever I get done with my little mini walkthrough. And I got it where it'll work, except for it, it goes back to the home position in the back corner instead of home position up in the front left. Uh, other than that, the everything works except for the joystick is wired backwards. So I'm going to take off this whole control panel and I'm going to do a video on how to wire that up separately. Other than that, we are pretty good. Still got some issues with these drivers here. We got, uh, I think, one or two of them need batteries and... I think that one needs a battery and that one down there needs a battery and that one needs a power supply. Maybe that's the way it goes, something like that. So in, a, in other words, we, we need a whole slew of 2032 batteries. Down here, we just have the police trainer. They broke the neck on that one when I wasn't here. We have the claw machine. I do want to talk about that for a second. So I had this claw machine strung wrong. Actually, I had it strung right for that entire video until the end. It needs to come from the outside down, then up around the middle, and then the, on the outside on the left side down straight to the claw. And I think we had it on the inside going around instead of the outside, which makes a huge difference. As soon as it would start to go down, instead of going down, it would just shoot string out because it was reeled in there the wrong way. But we had it most of the time. It wasn't until the very, very end where I, we uh, we uh, had problems. And I guess I just strung it wrong on one of those last times. So like the last time I should have had it. Uh, see, we got a, a switch in the uh, $1 a play claw machine. <laughs> Not my decision. The coin pusher is ready to go. We just need to fill it again and decide what we're going to do with it. Oh, I do need to, uh, this little slot part up here i need to change that around is that that sucks they're not like that but let's take a look at what is it crisis zone let's go ahead and measure the voltages on that i think the five volt is probably going to be low but it does get it goes it does get 12 so it could be that one too let's check her out so this power supply here in the center is the one that loops up and around comes over here to the pc on the right and it's this top connector i know it's in the corner of the screen but it's this one right there that ends up having problems so we do have 5 and 12 volts on there but we can measure it while the machine's running we got extra plugs over here so it's handy let's go ahead and see what the 5 and 12 are and if they're off we can adjust them there's adjustable knobs on this power supply which is handy that show up not really <laughs> oh well love that not really kind of all right so let's check five first stick this one in ground 496 we, we want it to be probably like a little over five. 
a 5.07, 0.08. That's probably good there. And for good measure, let's just check the 12 while we're here. Oh, I put it in five again. That's 3.3, .3, my bad. Oh, okay. 12 is yellow on this power supply. 13.47, and that's fine. Your 12 can fluctuate quite a bit. So I think that should get it for that. Let's go ahead and go out front and see if we can reboot it and start. Right, this is from a fresh reboot. Oh, you're kidding me. Hang on one second. Still have to push on that plug one time. So I'm definitely going to repin that connector because it's, it's got to be a problem. There's like a little interface board on that PC on the back. But if you're, you know, your voltage is, it was like four point something on the five, five volts. It's not going to get through all that wiring and all those different connections and still have five volts on it. So it needed to come up regardless. It might need to go to like 5.1. We also might have to test it at the chips. This is a long boot. I was gonna use the new mic, but then I was afraid it would shut off on me because I didn't I didn't charge it before I came in today. I'd rather have some sound than no sound. All right, come on. I have no idea how long this takes. I do not recall. Somebody said that NBA Jam was making, they're saying racist words. So I'm gonna record it in a minute while I'm working to see if it says anything on playback. If it does, I'll put it in the video. I highly doubt it does. Somebody would have picked up on that before today. I know it's close for now. Look at Pac-Man go. They said that all the AC air conditioning is out in downtown Kansas City. That's what multiple people have told me. Uh, do people not know how air conditioning works? <laughs> is it just this building? Is it just downtown agreed to do that? So it seems like it boots up okay now. I'm gonna go ahead and, and keep functioning and picking up little bits of video and we'll come back and check on it. Uh, next I'll show you the clip of the claw machine I got going. You can see it working backwards. But we'll check in on this here in just a few. Didn't last long, started rebooting again. Uh, I'm gonna try upping the voltage just a little bit more and then I'm gonna have to just call it, it's the connector if we can't get it on this next run. Let's try that. This is gonna take forever again. <laughs> oh. Oh, never mind, it booted. So maybe we're closer on voltage. Closer than I thought. Maybe it just needs to go up just a little bit more. Let's see if I couldn't get the green to come back in this thing.
Looks like the monitor is red natively in the background. That looks like it went red or bad in the background. Missing completely. It's so red. All right, on to the next. I'll bring a pot in tomorrow. All right, check it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna coin it up. We have is that one credit?
today. It's just set on the wrong spot. It goes in the back corner and set it up to the front. Isn't this guy beautiful? <laughs> That's all old stuff. Um, so I got, I know I kind of went over it. I got where I was trying to get this off of here, but there's still metal all the way underneath. So it doesn't help me to get this off of here. Um, and this thing is bolted to it underneath. And of course I can't get to this back one. So it's been a monstrosity. This thing's about to fall off. I think I'm just gonna rip it off of there. <laughs> Anyway, here's a little clip of uh, the claw machine working. Uh, it's basically just down to programming now and then uh, figuring out where I want the wiring to all go and how much money we want to charge for it. And then it actually has a lot more uh, options and stuff for rigging it and your, your claw strength at di different positions and stuff. So that'll be handy. So I think all of our other ones, the most we can charge is a dollar or a dollar fifty. So hopefully we can at least get two bucks out of this one. All right. All right. That wraps it up for video up here, really. I don't have anything else uh, interesting to film or show you guys. The games seem to be holding up. We had, what, 10 games at the con this past weekend? And they did pretty good. They were on uh, pay to play. We're, I think we had Black Tiger down here had 50 cents in it. That was the only one that didn't do very well. We still got some work to do in here. I really would like to get this other afterburner going. This is the one that we swapped the uh, power supply out on in a video, oh, probably three months ago, something like that. I saw this power supply for it that's right here. Uh, it's specific for this one, then I wired in a regular standard switcher on the other one. And that, that power supply came out of this machine, and this machine worked originally. So it sucks that I, oh, it, it's just the battery, I forget. Just the battery, it's not a big deal. This guy's drunk. I got a leg leveler for it. It's falling over. These guys are hard on games, man. They are hard on them. They don't know how to move them very well. Change machine did well. It turned all of its quarters into money. There's that switch I cracked you up. They didn't even put a brick in it or anything. So they're just gonna, somebody is gonna get lucky and like, they're gonna hook it in that corner and then pull it out of there and they're gonna have to give a switch away for a dollar. Yeah, I think Robotron and Joust was the best performing game, that and Mario. Well, that'll wrap it up for this one, guys. I appreciate you coming and checking in on me. Uh, I don't can't remember what I got coming up, but uh, I've been working really hard on the test rig and I got lots of video coming on that. Uh, it looks fantastic and you guys are gonna be shocked when you see it. So look for that soon. Uh, man, I really hope it's really soon, but I don't know if I can finish it. I would have loved to have that video out this past weekend, but I just, I'm still working on it, really. But thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. It won't be long. These two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is, a nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted, I got what I wanted, and a pretty good deal on it too. Why am I gonna get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> When you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.